So I would like to show you how to make one of the classic drinks of all times, drink that has been, that was, that appeared in the movie Casablanca, a drink that is simple and elegant and uh, just makes a party. I'm gonna make you a champagne cocktail. It's just the simplest drink you can make, but you can really screw it up. So number one, you need a good sparkling wine. You don't need an expensive sparkling wine, but you need a good sparkling wine. You don't necessarily need champagne, and you need something dry. So if you want to use a Prosecco, you can use a dry Prosecco. I have some inexpensive, wonderful sparkling wine here from Jans, and that's what we're going to use. Jans is a Tasmanian producer of um, sparkling wine. They're fantastic. Uh, they are also the sponsor of the New Year's Eve fireworks in New Brunswick, uh, 2021 into 2022. And so you will see Jans in all the New Brunswick bars. Uh, the product is great. It's like a $20 bottle of sparkling wine and it's just really delicious. And the ingredients are simple. It's champagne, bitters, and a sugar cube. I like it in a tall glass. A tall glass comes with some challenges to keep the bubbles all in the glass, but it's um, it's the most dramatic when you get it right. You can also make it in a champagne coupe if you like, which is the way they drank it in Casablanca. Super simple to make, but one of the mistakes that people make is they take the bitters and they put bitters in, and they put the sugar cube in the glass and then bitters on top of the sugar cube and that's just too much bitters. So what you do is to bitter a sugar cube, you put it on a, on a napkin or here I have it on a bar spill mat. And I, what I do is I, I soak the sugar cube fully in bitters, right? So now I have, and you have to have like as, as much as it will absorb. Then you pour yourself a nice glass of sparkling wine and it's gotta be effervescent and beautiful. So when you do this, you pour in very little uh, sparkling wine to start and then you drop your sugar cube in gently because you're gonna get a lot of degassing right away like that. And you go like that. If I just drop, uh, plop that in from the top, it would just overflow. And if I pour in very aggressively now, it will still overflow. So I can manage that by keeping the glass at a bit of an angle. And I just, if, I, if I stood this glass up right now, all the bubbles would come out the top because it would, it would limit the surface area that it has to come out and it would create more foam. Because the whole point of the champagne cocktail is it makes it more aggressively degas. And you'll see that beautiful line of bubbles come up to the top and this will uh, make your champagne uh, or your sparkling wine much more exciting. And what will happen is that sugar cube will slowly disintegrate and the bitters and sugar will concentrate at the bottom of the glass and your last sip of the champagne cocktail uh, should be still cool, a little bit bitter, a little bit sweet, um, uh, and a little bit rock and roll. And then you should order another one. Uh, so if you want to feel like Humphrey Bogart um, in Casablanca, make yourself a champagne cocktail. Jens is a great choice. Has to be Angostura bitters, and it has to be a, a big old sugar cube. So um, here's to you. I'm Humphrey Bogart. I'm Humphrey Bogart. Fantastic.